Tuesday saw a very small game update and the announcement of the two community voted kits. Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my Sims 4 news video. So first we got the announcement. It was shared across different social media platforms. The community voted kits are here. Build with the classic grandeur of a castle or bring out your inner grim with the Sims 4 Castle Estate Kit and the Sims 4 Goth Galore Kit available January 18th. And I will go over that in a little bit more detail after we discuss the game update. So a couple of hours after that announcement, we got the game update and about almost 50 minutes after the game update, we got this tweet from The Sims Direct. Sul Sul, The Sims 4 just released a small patch with some legacy bug fixes and check it out in the patch notes below. I'm not sure why they use the word legacy bug fixes. When I hear that, I think of the legacy edition of the game, which I know is no longer supported. And then they go, did someone call for some fixes? And I, people have called for some fixes, and these are probably not the fixes people are wanting to get. But here it is, Sul Sul Summers, the time has come to unveil our long-awaited community voted kits. We can't wait to see how many stories you'll tell with them. In fact, we're so excited that we added some additional legacy bug fixes for good measure. So you can see there are four fixes for base game, two of which are kind of visual things, two are gameplay things. You got one with respect to uh, power shouldn't be shut off quite as early. I had noticed it went off because sometimes, you know, a day's gone by and I haven't paid the bills just because I'm busy doing other things and my Sims power goes off. And I'm like, that was quick. So hopefully that should be better. And also um, if you play as a artist, painter, or an author, your masterpiece paintings and best-selling books were changing to excellent quality after saving and reloading your game, and that should no longer happen. It didn't go down in value, just like the label on it would change. And the other two, like I said, were visual. So for seasons, these are cross-pack things. There was an issue where Sims couldn't gift honey to wild animals. Um, now you can, and there also was like a canning related sentiment when Father Winter gave them a gift that wasn't related to canning and that should be fixed also. Now here are the rest. There's one for island living. Body scars will now appear on your Sims and Mermaid forms. I'm sure people who play with mermaids will be happy to see this. Discover University. I think only one of these is actually a Discover University thing. Juice Pong and keg activities now count as pub games during club activities. So that's like a get together crossover thing. And I didn't see that there was a mod that was to count to help with that. So that shouldn't be needed anymore. And there's this next one is an eco lifestyle, I would think. I'm not sure why it's under Discovery University. The start fizzing interaction will now correctly be displayed at the fizzing station. Now, when I saw that, I thought that was to fix. It's not the same wording, but there is an existing bug that I'm aware of that if you reload your save, the juice fizzing station stopped working. And there's a bug fix for that and it got updated actually. So if you use that bug fix, you may want to update it if you're still having that problem in your game. But I tested and I'm not having that problem in my game anymore. So I'm not really sure what that was versus the bug fix related to the fizzing station that I um, am aware of. So anyways, and then there was with Eco Lifestyle, there's Sims will no longer have difficulty putting dye objects discovered into the dumpster into their inventory, which I think is tied to like ownership issues. But there are some other things I find that you get in the dumpster that have those same ownership issues. So I don't know if it was fixed for all of them or only the dye objects. And then that for rent, the very, very underwhelming, the main menu screenshots for this pack have been updated to the proper resolution. And I'm sure many people <laughs> wanted to see more. I'll touch on that after this last one, Poolside Splash, their Poolside Nails no longer leave a texture artifact on the open button-up shirt that comes with this kit. Okay, for rent. I know a lot of people were disappointed with this game update because as you probably already know, if you're watching this, there's a lot of bugs with for rent. And if you don't know, I have some videos that go over those bugs in detail, including some possibility of corruption of your saves from residential rentals which of course is the main feature of the pack. There are other features that are fun, but that is obviously the main feature. At the moment, I personally wouldn't recommend using residential rentals unless you're playing in a throwaway save that you don't really care about. I personally wouldn't put one in like a long-term legacy save that I cared about because there are issues and it can cause save corruption. And there are some tips you can do to 
not so much help prevent the save corruption, though in one case you can, but also to be able to help you recover if you have it happen. And I cover those in my other videos. Though the main thing I will talk about, mention, not talk about, mention, is if you play in a save, especially one with a residential rental, but regardless, I would just do this just for safety matters, and you want to switch to a different save, close your game fully, then open it back up again. It just helps prevent corruption going from one save to another per a tweet from Krinrick, which I've covered twice already. So I'll link them at the end. But I was not expecting any fixes for, for rent. Nothing major, which is what we got. No, I mean, I don't even know if I was expecting anything minor because there are some minor issues with some of the objects that come with the pack because we never got a laundry list. And I was looking for a laundry list after we got that leak last week. I, every day I was looking, no laundry list, no laundry list, no laundry list. So, you know, we got some bug fixes. That was good. Obviously, we'd want to see more, but I think we would have got a laundry list if we were going to get anything big. I'm also just in general not surprised because I think some of the issues with the pack are probably not that easy to fix, unfortunately. And I, you know, they just came off being away for the holidays. They haven't been back very long. I just wasn't expecting anything, to be quite honest. Hopefully they'll come out with some type of an announcement or something. And hopefully we'll like maybe we'll get something by the end of the month or early February, it would be nice to get something, something from them about the issues with the pack. But uh, yes, the update was underwhelming. I was not surprised. As it is, or any of these fixes things you're interested in, I'd like to know. Just in general, it also had very minimal impact on mods. Most of the mods that I saw didn't get affected. Even some mods that usually get affected, they didn't get affected. It just really didn't touch very much. And I saw a tweet by Turbo Driver that said, his mods weren't affected. I know MCCC was cleared, both the Patreon version, which is just early access still being tested, which is why it's not out yet, and the public version. And Little Miss Sam did like a small update of one mod, but all the rest were cleared. So just generally not really a big mod impact with this, which is not surprising. It wasn't a very big update. Now I'm going to move along to the kit announcement. So the community voted kits are here. We see this again and uh, the, it goes from like the Sim to the Grim, bringing out that inner Grim. And then they follow that up with this Embrace the Past with the Current and the Sims 4 Castle Estate Kit from stone walls to leaded glass windows, create the perfect drop backdrop for your next story. And there's a link to the blog post, which actually shows the items coming with the kit. And... We also have this, style your sims in the latest contemporary goth fashion with the Sims 4 goth galore kit with a new dark wardrobe and moody makeup. Your sim will be the best dressed in town and it links to the same blog post. Now it's coming out on the 18th and the usual time is 10 a.m. Pacific. So you can see where that is in various different places. And I will link down below if you want to know when that is in your time zone. If you're interested in getting this kit, perhaps you voted for these and are wanting to get it. I know a lot of people are not wanting to get anything until they fix some of the issues in the game that are currently there. So the blog post essentially just repeats a lot of things that were said on those uh, tweets. But what it did share was this uh, screenshot of both of the objects coming with the kits. So here it is for the um, castle one. And you can see it's like building items. It's not, not even like items. It's like for building. There's windows. There's some archways and some doors, wall covering, floor color coverings, um, stair railings. I don't actually... Oh, yeah, I see a stair. <laughs> stairs in a column so it's it's very much about building the build and not about furnishing the build and then we have the items for the goth kit which you can see here so there were 25 things for the castle and there's 24 things here for the goth kit there's you know a couple of makeup some accessories clothing obviously this I can say obviously, but it is for teen and up. There is nothing for anyone younger, which is not the first time. It's probably the the kit makes sense that it's going to be for teen and up. So that's kind of it. 
for what we got announced today. So I would love to know your opinion. Were you disappointed with how small the update or were you like me kind of not expecting anything major with respect to the for rent issues in this update? And are you thinking about getting either or both of these kits? I'd love to know in a comment down below. But that's going to be it for this video. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!